Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have here something very important to talk to you. I've been talking about it in my videos, but I never showed to you any proof about it. So, I run at Star Swarm, which is a benchmark that can, you can test DirectX 11 and Mantle, and relies very heavily on the CPU. It's very hard to get GPU bound in here. The graphic card almost doesn't matter uh, in this benchmark, it's always CPU. And I ran this in my MD graphic cards on the, in a 770, landed from a friend, which is, uh, of course, a much more powerful graphic card. So, as you can see, I ran it all in the same version, all in the same processor, all of them in the same scenario, RTS scenario, and all of them in the same settings between all of them. So like I said, Star Swarm completely revise on the CPU, not on the graphic cards. You can check for yourselves using MSI Afterburner while testing, and you're gonna see that your graphic card hardly is going to work after there is 5,000 uh, units on screen. So as you can see, we have here all the information that you need to know, and let's talk about the results. So on my HD 7850, I got 6 frames. On, with Mantle, I got 24, which is, uh, well, an awesome optimization, but with the NVIDIA on DirectX 11, I got 17. So, this is this is not quite right, right? This is, doesn't seem normal, because if this relies on CPU, which means it doesn't matter what graphic card I have, I could have a Titan in here, I could have an SLI, a Crossfire, the score shouldn't be bigger than those 6 frames unless I use a DirectX 12 or Mantle. So I've been investigating this and um, this is a very serious problem for IMD on DirectX 11. So you need to have... Uh, what I'm trying to say is that NVIDIA on DirectX 11 have uh, much better optimizations which results in much better frames. For example, I have here, I'm here playing Dying Light on the 770. Uh, this was yet before the patch, and as you can see, 1080p, shadow foliage on medium, the VM distance on low, and the rest on... And I'm getting bottleneck, I have 60% of GP usage, but I'm getting 50 frames. So, what about with IMD? I'm using the same settings, and I have exactly the same almost GP usage, I have 60% of GP usage, but I just have... 22 FPSs. So if I have bottleneck in both of them, if my CPU can't deliver more frames on IMD, why the hell can my CPU deliver more frames on the NVIDIA? So let's try Project Cars. So this is a little bit uh, stupid test because the game is yet being to, it's yet being working, and I'm testing this on median settings uh, to be good. A little bit good for my AMD HD. And okay, and this is all of Dying White is an NVIDIA title, and Project Cars is too an NVIDIA title. So, could be a problem with Game Works, you may think. But uh, later, I'm gonna show you th th that test on Saints Row 4, which is a completely AMD gaming involved game, and it was completely optimized for AMD. So, as you can see, oh, I mean, this is with my AMD. So I'm running this with my AG7850. Uh, if you can look to the percentage of my graphic card, um, it's 98%, 97%, which means my graphic card is doing everything it can to deliver all the frames. So I have no bottleneck in here. My processor is not limiting my performance. Everything seems to be running just fine. I'm not getting 60, but my graphic card is doing everything it can. So I start to get a little bit, no, 98, 98%, everything seems okay, no, now starts the problem. So I have 76% of usage and my frame rate dropped to 36 after crossing this village. So there is a lot of objects in here and with objects the frame rate lowers and now it's back to normal, right? Okay, let's see on the NVIDIA side. So again, I'm showing the settings now on NVIDIA, on NVIDIA side. I have here shallow play, 
Uh, by the way, I'm recording this with my cell phone. It's the Nokia Lumia 630. It's not nothing special, as you can see. Uh, I have Shadow Play open. I'm gonna confirm it. I'm gonna open MSI right away. Don't worry. I'm gonna put the same track with the same cars. Uh, I'm kind of lost in here. Just a bit. So let's. Okay, seems everything equal. Taking too long. Okay, so we are back now to the game. 95 frames, I'm gonna open MSI, I don't trust on Shadowplay. Okay, same camera. Of course I'm having more frames, because of course this graphic card is better, and in this situation my CPU isn't truly bottlenecking the, the performance, right? So everything is okay. So it's running fine. I have just 5% of bottleneck. 10%, as you can see on the percentage of the graphic card up there, 80s percent, 80s. Okay, we are almost crossing that village where my MD dropped, and it starts to drop here too, so I have 80% of usage, 80, it's trying to go to 70s, but I have 70 frames per second, so it didn't go below uh, even close to 30s that uh, I saw uh, on the IMD. So query, we have here a problem. Well, in this case, it's not a great proof because Project Cars is yet to be released, it's being developed and it's again an NVIDIA title. So maybe it's NVIDIA that is trying to do some sort of stupid things to, to I don't know, to harm IMD. So let's see on Saints Row 4 which is an IMD gaming evolved game. So now we are here on Saints Row and to not create big difference I decided to to remove the multi-sampling and deviating on the game, having, well, leaving the rest on maximum. So as you can see I'm still having bottleneck 2 on the NVIDIA. This is the NVIDIA. <coughs> I have bottleneck in here as you can see. Uh, but I'm running at uh, 40s, it's more 50s, well I have 40s in here, I'm running in this road, all along, hitting cars, taking everything I can, with so much speed, okay, so I'm running, I'm running and running, always at 50s and 40s, seems very nice, and fun. So it, it's clear that I'm bottlenecked with the NVIDIA since I have 70%, 80%. The core clock of the graphic card is not even on maximum since the maximum is 1220 something. It's not my graphic card so I don't truly really know. I'm gonna stop in here and exit the game. Now with the MD, testing out my MD as you can see. Let's see how this works. Alright. And as you can see, the same settings, all the same settings. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see less frames. Again. And this is an IMD Gaming Evolved title, which is supposedly optimized for IMD. It wasn't supposed to be happening, this. So it's the same processor, I was bottlenecked, and I am bottlenecked on the IMD graphic card. You can see, look at the GPU usage, I am bottlenecked. Although, if I use an NVIDIA, it works just fine. I know this is a 770 and it is a more powerful graphic card on the last video. But damn, like I said, when you are bottlenecked, it doesn't matter what graphic card you have. You can have the top end, it will weapon, you're gonna have the same frames. If you offer me an R9 219X, it's gonna happen the same thing. It's going to happen that... Uh, I have the same frame rate that my uh, that I have on my HD 7850, 
but with NV it's different. So it all started uh, with GameGPU.ru. It's a Russian website that benchmarks all the, that kind of stuff. I usually don't trust uh, all the websites that I found on the internet. For example, GameGPU for me was a new thing, so I wasn't uh, I wasn't ready to trust in website. And in fact, uh, many people on the internet don't trust on Russians, maybe because of their accidents and car crashes every and the vodka and everything. It's nothing against you Russian people, but in fact, many people don't trust you. It's nothing bad about it, but. Uh, getting to serious things right now. Uh, as you can see, uh, using the R9 2 19X, uh, the FX 6100 uh, uh, have considerable less frames than with an NVIDIA. Well, that Rising 3 was a bad optimized game and it was at a partnership with NVIDIA. So I decided, mm, nah, I need another proof. So I moved to Alien Isolation and I found this. Again, I can see better performance with the same processors on NVIDIA and then on AMD. And again, we found this uh, nice comparison between a Dragon Age within DirectX 11 and the mantle between all the, the GPUs. So, despite the fact that the Manto is the winner here, uh, we need to think, Manto is only supported by 4 or 5 games. Uh, so, although the other games, DirectX 11, have a great... Uh, NVIDIA with DirectX 11 have a great advantage comparing to AMD in the, in the same lower-end processors, but I needed to find more. I didn't trust entirely in just one website. It was just one website saying this. It was just GameGPU.ru. So, I need to find... Uh, more proofs from other websites, but I wasn't able to found on Groove3D, on NNTech or in other websites because they tested always with i7s with overclock, so it was obvious that the bottleneck would be the GPU. So I found another benchmarks uh, that was done, but this time by Eurogamer or Digital Foundry, that I don't truly trust in them too, but in fact they have the lower, uh, lower end processors to benchmark. So, uh, they show this, this. So what we are seeing here is a nine, 960 uh, getting 60 frames per second with an E3 and we see an E3 with an R9 280 getting 43 frames. So it seems that the E3 is not enough uh, to sustain uh, <laughs> the performance of the R9 200. Then we have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare showing exactly the same thing, the E3 paired up with the R9 and, uh, 285 uh, having much less performance and then we have Rise which is a, a very familiar game for AMD, it runs greatly on AMD but again with the same problem, a low-end CPU getting completely raped with AMD uh, we, and with Nvidia getting all along just fine, so it was too much things, it was too much proofs to, to believe. We have Game GPU, I have Digital Foundry, and then I have my own proofs on the video. So this problem really exists. I know that exists and I am aware that I should be I should be trading my CPU because it's a Fanon 2X4, it has more than five year old. It's logic that is an old CPU and I may need another. But it's not that way. I may need another CPU, but it hurts myself to see that anybody that has NVIDIA, the the, the Fanon 2X4 performs much better than me with AMD, and that is limiting my performance, which means if I have those optimizations that NVIDIA have on my AMD card, uh, I wouldn't be complaining of my processor, and I would be thinking, oh, Fanon 2 is just fine, and now with AMD, I'm just saying, no, Fanon 2 just sucks, but after all, what sucks? It's the driver optimization of AMD that sucks. God, I never complain anything about AMD, but this is a serious thing. And then after that, after all that shit, after all these testings, um, and then tech benchmark um, Star Swarm with DirectX 12 and DirectX 11 and Mantle, and they got this and they showed us this. And you, as you can see, well, this really showed us that uh, DirectX 12 is good on AMD and on Nvidia. 
uh, they are both on pair and Mantle actually have some advantage here over DirectX 12 but if you notice the other things, look at the performance with DirectX 11 on the AMD graphic cards they are all like 8 frames per second and look at the Nvidia they have 21, 23 and 26 or 27 in DirectX 11 how the hell is that possible? It's a very big difference. I know that DirectX 11 is out there, uh, it's almost out there. In the end of the year we have DirectX 12. But guys, remember the games that will come out. Uh, we have Project Cars, we have GTA 5, we have, we have already the Dying Light, which is very demanding to the CPU, and nothing guaranteed this. Nothing, it's going to, to be, I don't know. I don't know how should I explain that, but even after DirectX 12 will be out, nothing guarantees me that more games with DirectX 11 will come out. Of course it will come out. Even Serious Sum 3 was, rele was released in DirectX 9 after many years DirectX 11 exists. So, every time a DirectX 11 game came out, we sh we're gonna have um, CPU problems. Oh my god, this is serious. I'm pretty sure that I am did are trying to to make people don't talk about this because they just want DirectX 12 to come out and fix this. But damn, a lot of games with DirectX 11, I'm sure they will be out. And uh, every time a DirectX 11 game comes out and your CPU is a little bit more low end, you're gonna suffer this, uh, this performance that you are seeing here. I don't think this is fair. I love AMD, but uh, I want them to fix this. I want really to fix them because I'm a client. I paid for them. I paid for the graphic cards. And so I expect them to support me the same way that Nvidia support their clients. I know that Nvidia is a little bit piggy with their tactics, but Jesus, I just want performance. Come on, I paid for it. And with that, uh, I'm just showing you to I'm just showing you all this because I think you should be aware and should uh, try to spread the word. Uh, try on your forums that you visit, your tech forums where you visit. Try to to share the world uh, within the internet because if we make pressure to AMD, maybe they fix this and maybe they're really gonna fix this because they need to. Imagine that the whole internet will be, uh, I don't know, up to them, will be just complaining get them. They need to fix it unless they gonna think that we're gonna change to NVIDIA. I, I may even consider changing to NVIDIA after this because this is a serious thing. Well, NVIDIA done a shit too with the GTX 970, but this is very serious too. They need to fix this right away. And if they don't fix this until DirectX 12, I maybe then change brands. Because, well, this is bad. Imagine that in DirectX 12 um, suddenly NVIDIA decide to to pull a card and say, oh, there it is, more optimizations to DirectX 12 and IMD again, it's going to wait for DirectX 13? Man, guys, I can't deal with this, I I just want support, there are some things that I that I don't care about NVIDIA having, for example, physics I don't care, the TV sync, we have Radiant Pro for that, I don't care about limiting the performance because we have tools for that, which are not on the drivers too, I don't care of waiting a little bit longer for drivers, but I do care about performance, and I do care when my CPU is low end and it can't handle my graphic card because the overhead on their drivers are so big comparing to NVIDIA that I can't play properly. Do you understand? That is my problem now with IMD. IMD, please fix this. Um, I'm gonna send this to your Facebook. I hope you see this and uh, try at least say something. If you are not going to fix it, give me, give us your reasons for that because we really need it. I really want to have uh, a reason to not ditch my AMD GPU and sell to anybody and buy Nvidia. Come on, I love you guys, but. Come on, this is important, this is performance and that is all about the graphic card. Graphic card is about performance, alright? So, guys, that's all I want to show you about uh, this IMD thing. Uh, if you have any doubts, uh, if you benchmark any things, just leave on the comment section below. This is a very serious thing right there we have, right? So, see you soon and thank you a lot for seeing this until the end. This is very important, alright? Goodbye.